What's good YouTube and welcome to the house. We're back today with another market watch and Cosmos are continuing to surge and it's really weird because eBay tends to follow TCG player. TCG players getting completely bought out on a lot of the cards and slowly getting replaced and revamped on prices. Cosmojo has fallen two dollars to 16 but we come over to 10 can. 10 cans at ugh, like 14 over here. And uh, you see Dark Destroyer here is at lowest 20 and the only availables are first editions versus its market price of 9 which was back for its unlimited. So we come over to eBay though. Look at this. Dark Destroyer is also a lowest of 20 with only 3 copies on all of eBay. But if you come over to eBay for 10 can, the lowest is $10 new listing, 1075, 1095. The price that it was at basically before all the hype was surging. The 10 can has not had a reprint and is stuck at this price. But the Cosmos get even crazier than that. Let's go to the next two cards. Look at Dark Lady on TCG Player. 17 Unlimited Near Mint and First Ed Near Mint. This is insanity. Uh, we see $10 for a Dark Eclipser almost. What is going on? We, we look on eBay and Dark Eclipser is indeed there at almost $10. But Dark Lady is still available from Canada, from Canada. So people are purposely buying out this card to drive its price up because they're not wanting to take the axe and take the ones from the the foreign countries because guess what that would take too long to get here and resell at any kind of hype price when it's starting to cool down so uh we also do see it at eight dollars though which is half price of tcg players so i i think dark lady will cool down rather quick uh, both of the ships uh, are the same on eBay and TCG Player, and 10 Can is also chilled on eBay versus uh, TCG Player. It seems like it's just purposeful hype uh, on this deck, like people trying to make it expensive again on the cards that can be expensive. So don't fall for it, just wait for a bit. Uh, the deck's not doing anything in the metagame, I promise. It's Johnny Hype. It's uh, Asian Persuasion 2008. He got first at a regional. People love to play the low tier hero deck. Yes, this deck has a lot of potential in the meta. Yes, this deck can do a lot, but that's the reason that it's going up. And if you just wait a bit on all these prices, they'll continue to fall back down to where they were as they have no impact in the meta for a while. It's also a bit of bandwidth type. They're seeing this deck did something before the ban list, and the ban list isn't going to be hitting it, and maybe, just maybe, it'll help it. That's kind of gambling, that's that's not what I would be going for, but, you know, to each their own. Next up, we had a discussion yesterday about grass, and there's a counter discussion on YouTube about grass, and... Yeah, and the lowest is at $18 now when you could buy them for $6.50 yesterday. I, I had suggested this a bit on Market Watch and the fact that if it ever did, like, come off the ban list, it's not in the Mega Tins, it would spike very hard. People went ham over a discussion and counter discussion, it looks like, because, uh, let, let me pull this up for you guys. I, I made a separate screen capture for this. Uh, I had a discussion, and as you can see, the community was very divided here. We have a ton of likes, a ton of dislikes, and then we come on over to the Mega Capital G show, taking the other side of the argument. And it looks like, just because this card is being talked about a ton on YouTube, it's gone up. I can't see another legit reason unless somebody had the same thought as me before, and it's like... It's not in the Mega Tens. If it really comes back, we need to do this. Bye, 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 bye. Like, it, it seems like this was multiple people. It seems like it wasn't all one person unless they just got deep pockets and they're prepared. But it seems like a discussion on itself just hit the market real hard. I've got to tell you guys, stop doing that. Yeah, you're not going to make that much money doing that. Like, yes, the price is high now. And when the ban list comes out and nothing happens, yeah, your, rate, your sales rates yeah, down the toilet. Like, don't be doing this. Don't be buying cards based on YouTube discussions. We're here to discuss and say our opinions on cards, which can matter to you guys. But don't make financial decisions based on YouTube card evaluations. There's a difference between a market watch where we're talking about prices and viability versus a pure wild speculation that it might or might not come off a ban list. So that, that's just all I wanted to say with that. Like, But Mega Capital G, 
Actually, this is probably his calmest counter argument, so I do want to shout him out. I, I watched through the whole thing, I restarted uh, to look at it, and it's probably his calmest argument. No, we don't smoke. Uh, I've actually never smoked in my life or taken a drug not prescribed to me. But thank you, Drama Nation. But it seriously was his, uh, he, he shouted out my stream, he did a bunch of stuff, so I, I do want to say that if you guys want to watch this, it's a good counter argument overall. I disagree with some things, of course, but that's to be expected. Uh, I, I think he, it's probably his calmest look at a counter argument. So, moving on to the prices, 16, 18, 18 lowest actually now for the Unlim on TCG player, and we see the lowest first dead to 25. Please don't ever do this again, guys. Like, uh, we should be able to talk about cards. And then you see the foreign one, so it does look buyout-ish. Uh, you can still get it from Canada and take your time on the shipping. Uh, then we have the Hentai Orikas, and then we get 16 lowest uh, first ed near mint. So, it, just wait a couple days. People will gladly sell, sell these out cheaper if you, than 25 and 18. Like... If you just wait a couple days, uh, the first set's already going down, so just chill. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, Phantom Knight's Fogblade. I, this is kind of the same thing that I wanted to show off with Hype. With the Burning Abyss cards already going down, the Phantom Knight's cards, of course, have been going way back down, too. You see the market price of $9. Uh, it's already at $8. I just wanted to show what happens with Hype every single time. When it's Hype and it's not ready for the meta yet, when it's far off, when the card for BA hasn't even been announced for its effect, it'll just continue to slowly chill out, go down, the Hype will completely die. So, uh, as you see, the, the prices are already settling on the Phantom Knights cards. The same kind of thing is going to happen with Cosmo. It's going to happen with Grass. That's just how it is. These cards haven't had reprints, just like these cards haven't had reprints, and they chill out when they're not doing much anything. <sighs> Tethys, the Goddess of Light. Speaking of another card not doing anything but getting hyped, uh, I don't know if it's the Fairy Structure deck. I personally don't know what it is either. Uh... Cap made a video on this. This is how I know about it. $23 and $28 for the first. We come over to eBay, and I want to applaud Cap for actually showing eBay uh, as well as TCG Player. Uh, we got $18 before $20. Pre-owned. Uh, it doesn't say near mint, so let's check that listing. And near. Near. Ah, yeah, we see... Uh, a little bit of edge wear there, so it, we're, we're considering that not meant. Nice, uh, I, I see pre-owned starting to be on, on cards a lot more these days. 20 lows first that near mint, so uh, cheaper than this by 8 bucks. It's, it's a, a low quantity sort of thing. You Remember, I think you can still get this as a common, if I'm not mistaken. Has it had a reprint? Yeah, yeah, look at that, it has a common reprint. So don't worry about it uh, too much, it's just some kind of hype. Uh, it's always been a good card. It lets you like continue to draw, 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 draw. When you draw a fairy type monster, sh by showing the card to your opponent, you draw another card. And so you draw another fairy, you show it, you draw another card. Uh, there's been cute and fun fairy decks that have used that throughout time. It's not a bad card. I just don't think the hype is really justified for it, for counter fairies because your goal is to run low amounts of monsters. So I really don't know uh, what kind of fairy deck is going to be abusing this in the future. Uh, I just wanted to say that Sage with Eyes of Blue, it might be a good time to get yours now with all the Blue Eyes hype. It's Battles of Legend, that set's pretty much sold out. Well, there's a high quantity of a lot of the cards. He's stuck at one of the higher prices at $6. As you see, Minerva chilling out at 7 He's uh, the third most expensive card in the set, as is. And I think in the future, he could be worth quite a bit as the rest of the Blue Eyes players continue to grab the pieces that weren't in the Megatons. We've seen it with Alternative, we've seen it with many other cards. I think it would be pretty smart to have these in your pocket while it is one of the, it's it's still cheap overall, $6. Uh, so if you don't have your Sage with Eyes of Blues now, it's something to consider trading for, not not running out and throwing cash at. It'll be at this price for a bit. Like it's, it's not gonna just go up real fast. I wouldn't think it would. There's there's a lot of quantities, as you see. The person holding the lowest is seven, and this this card, even if bought out, uh, it'll it'll go back down after the initial surge for a bit. Uh, it's just it's not that it's going to be meta defining. It's that the casuals really love this deck, and at times I'm a casual. I would love to have access to Blue Eyes deck to play once in a while, just to shake off the meta and enjoy saying White Lightning, you know, White Lightning attack. 
Uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, the card that most people called going up from the Megatons, is indeed going up. We've seen it at $5 for a while, and the Mega Pack 1 now is at a lowest of over 6 uh, on TCG players, so it's starting to creep up, boyos. A lot of people talking about, I need this card. Uh, you can get it cheaper over here, but they're talking about they need it for the Spiral format. They need, uh, they're going to need one copy of the expensive Link Monster and just their three Ghost Cherries. Life doesn't always work out that way, and you're often going to draw it as your sixth card, just like you used to draw Maxi as a sixth card. Let me tell you now. But a lot of people are saying that, and they are indeed grabbing it. This isn't a buyout or anything. It's a natural uh, creep, and I think it's... It's deserved. It's a really good card, uh, and it's it's slowly creeping up on both. We this was uh, about five as well, and this guy sold two hundred and three. So we're seeing it start, and he's holding the line before it just continues. And let's see how many more he has with how many he sold. Real quick, one hundred thirty-five are holding the line. So I don't think it's going to go up too much anytime soon, but. Uh, uh, there's and there's a lot of people with a lot of Mega Ten cards, but I think there's people also waiting. So there's quantity cooldowns as well for when it does spike up. So it, it's gonna naturally progress upwards, I think. Just like this other card, Foolish Burial Goods. Foolish Burial Goods is 687 on TCG Player. You can still get it much cheaper over here on eBay. You can get it for 550, but then it's 750. So it's looking like it experienced a small buyout. There is a, this is a brand new listing. Someone's cooling it off a little. They're even taking best offer, but they just got one. So once this one's gone, they're they're all pretty high. 750 and what? 687. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Uh, but look, Chow Productions, 68 quantity. So again, for it to go up any further, it's got to pass some very high quantity lines, which I don't see happening. But there's only five total sellers on TCG Player of this card right now. And there are 47 results on eBay, but they're all pretty high. So it's looking like Foolish Burial Goods did indeed receive the buyout. Uh, it is used in spirals, if I'm not mistaken. You can send some of the missions to Grave that uh, get effects there. You can send a, uh, some other stuff, like, uh, but it's mostly the missions, right? Like, you're able to use the missions, banish them, and get some kind of effect from Graveyard, and I don't think there's, like, a you-have-to-wait clause in the missions, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, I could be. Let's, let's actually make sure on that real quick, because... I don't want to misspeak to you guys. Spiral mission. And let's read. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen Mission Rescue played. And I'm I'm 95% sure you don't got a way to turn after it's sent. Uh, you can banish this from your graveyard and target a spiral monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only control one spiral uh, uh, mission rescue. So like while well, it's face up. But yeah, yeah. Look at that. There's no claws restricting it. And so you can actually send this and then uh, reborn any spiral monster. So that, that's kind of some of its uses is sending the spiral missions that don't need to wait uh, a turn to get their banish effect. So there you have it. That's today's Market Watch. What do you guys think of what's going on? Some uh, some Cosmo hype from actual results at an event, along with, you know, it being shown all over YouTube and the hype of it, uh, because it was done by a YouTuber. I think that is pretty natural, though. It, there's, the ban list is coming. People are considering a deck that doesn't get hit that just had a recent result at a competitive tournament, but it's still just regionals, not a YCS. And then... Uh, the the discussion hype, I suppose you would call it. I, I don't like that a card is going up from discussing a card. The, oh man, it, it just seems like it's so hard to talk about a card later. And then ugh, the, the, the thought of, oh, if this went to three on the ban list, I need my three. I, I could get that kind of a rush. But it does look like it was a purposeful buyout and not by other people when you go to eBay and, and there's still cheap Canadian ones, you know? Like... How, how does this make sense? Although they do say brand new, so it was after after the buyout. But 1231. Uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about grass. and Its price is ridiculous to me. I, I don't think this should happen just from people having a discussion about a card back and forth. 